Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. It is, uh, uh, well, it is in November, and uh, we are November uh, the 4th. Can you believe it? Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Clifford. And... Uh, we had a great weekend. We had youth convention and we had a church yesterday and just great. I hope you guys had a great weekend with whatever you did. So Romans, Romans 12, um, 12, Romans 12, two says this, it's, uh, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So I was, let's think about that this morning, especially don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you in a new person by changing. So I was, I was thinking about that this morning. Don't copy the ways of this world. When I was about 10 years old, I was, uh, my, it was during the happy days era and my brother had this cool leather coat, you know, Fonzie always wore a leather coat with a t-shirt and, and I, I really, and my brother was wearing the same leather coat and, and it was the beginning of an era of pleather, which looked like leather and plastic leather. And so my brother found one in a lost and found he gave it to me and i wanted to be just like my brother because i look i wanted to be just like him do everything he did and uh, so i wore that pleather jacket with a t-shirt ripped jeans you know just wanted to be just like my big brother in every sort of the way you know because you know you look up to your bigger brother you just there's just something about that and so I was just thinking about, about copying, you know, imitating. And so many times in this world, there we imitate, you know, people imitate things of this world, the styles of this world, the, the different things of this world. And so I was thinking about that this morning for some reason. But this passage of scripture says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. So basically, let God t change your mind. Let God transform you into uh, a new person by the changing the way you think. See, we don't have to think like this world. We we get into the word of God and let him transform the way you think and, and become the person that God wants you to be. He continues on with this. He says, then you you learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing, and perfect. So, as I read that this morning, I was like, oh, yeah, what an amazing passage of scripture for us this morning, is that don't copy what's going on around you, because it's really easy to mimic, to to uh, do everything the world is doing, or you can be transformed to be a new person. But to learn God's will, to do what God's will is that where you find true peace, to find the plan that God has for you. Why is it good and pleasing and perfect? What an amazing concept to truly not go the way of the world. I also remember this t-shirt that came out a long time ago. It had a bunch of fish and there's one fish going the wrong direction. Really, to go against what the world's doing is literally becoming your own trendsetter. You know, I, I always hear these kids go, well, I don't care what people think about me, but they're doing exactly what the world is doing. And when you think about that, going it, really doing what God has called you to do is literally not going with what the world is saying to do. Is literally, I'm going to go with God's calling, his perfect, pleasing will for your life, which is so much better and so much greater than 
which you could never think of. And so when you think of this, it's a great way to start your week as you walk out and doing the things that God has called you to do is to know that you're, and then just pray, God, help me, be, you know, do what you've called me to do, that that perfect will, that God's plan, and do it with all your might. And yeah, it might people might say, oh, that's just weird. Yep. When you're doing something that goes against the whole idea of what the world is doing, it is weird. But that's okay. You know, the Bible calls us that we are aliens to this place. Yep, that's weird. So, uh, it's okay. So, get out your Bible. Write out this verse. Romans 12, 2. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So, um, just a couple prayer requests. Um, just uh, pray for my parents, you know, just continue to remember them in prayer. And then um, also just uh, I'll pray for this week. Excuse me. It's it's gonna be a great week, but uh, so we'll pray for Monday. It's Monday, so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for those who are watching now, those who watch later. I pray that you encourage them as they enter this day. Lord, I pray for my mom and dad. Lord God, that be be with my mom as she deals with this hearing thing, and Lord, that you just heal her hearing. Be with my dad that you give him strength in his legs, and Lord, in his body, and heal him. And Lord God, I pray for this day, Lord God. Lord, we all have unspoken, Lord God, whatever they may be, that Lord God, that you just answer them and take care of them, whether it's finances or health or Lord, whatever they may be. And Lord God, help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with, Lord God. Help us to speak life into them. And Lord God, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. Well, have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you tomorrow. So have a blessed day.